um, good day everyone. Uh, I want to quickly make this video prior to some pressing issue and some uh, spiritual teaching, spiritual guide. One thing people don't know is today we want to talk about money and spirituality, money and spirituality. What is money? What is uh, spirituality? People don't really know the difference. And today I'm going to elaborate people on how to make it, how you can make things work out for you, how you can make this uh, money. And how does the money come from spirituality? That's the topic of this video, let me say. The topic generally is how does money come from spirituality that's the question because uh recently i got a question whereby a guy was asking me that okay when someone uses a spiritual work how does he bring money do you wake up to see money in your room in your uh in your pocket or something then that's one of the reasons I'm making the, this video. And let me start from here. The difference between money and spirituality. Do money really come to you just anyhow without anything being done? I'm not talking about doing any, any sort of job here. But one thing I want to explain here is what is money? Is money really this paper? this currency we spend is it the money is it really the money that we are talking about when they say someone is rich when they say someone is uh, is making it in life is it by the paper by this uh, physical currency these uh, other copy papers this printed paper is it is it the money is that paper the money let me show you is this thing money as you can see, this is even dollars. You know, one of the valued currency in the world. This is dollar. Is this money? This is actually not money. It is just a paper or some or a medium to which it comes to whoever deserves it. Now, let me explain it this way so you can get this very well. When they say someone is making it in life, is being prosperous spiritually. And money is coming to that person. Is it this paper that is coming? Now, let me explain something that you people don't understand. This paper follows prosperity of spirituality. If you are not prosperous in your spiritual realm, there's no way this paper will come to you. This is not the money. This is not money. These are just papers. They are just paper. This is not the money that that people that make it are, or someone prosperous we are talking about. This only comes to people who are prosperous spiritually. Because even if you are giving a million dollars, if you are if you are not okay spiritually, the money will vanish and you will not know how it goes. You will not know. You just be wondering, ah, this large of money. Some people will talking eh, uh, so one, one big money can cure uh, abject poverty. Let me tell you something. If you are not okay spiritually, there's no way this one will stay. This paper, there's no way it will stay. So you need to be spiritually strong. You need to be spiritually balanced before this thing comes to you. You will see people talking about uh, someone making it. All these young boys that do chat me. You will see them talking, uh, I want to make money. I want to be picking money in, uh, in a box. I want to. And I normally when I see a message like that, I laugh. And assume that the kind of person that has that question is not you know spiritually knowledgeable enough or 
she's that kind of person is not you know it's lacking you know when you just see some people making it you think maybe it is the help of this paper what we really call money is a spirit and it is not this it is not this these are just papers what we really call money is is in your spirituality it's in it's a spirit it's not the paper but it is attached to the paper because we see it as a means that when someone is holding it you can buy this buy that but it is not really the money they are just papers now back to what i was saying when someone is having some problem in his spirituality there's no way this paper will come this money this currency there's no way it will come to that but when someone is spiritually balanced that is when prosperity will be coming that is when the spirit will live with you then when that spirit lives with you because that spirit of money is a kind of spirit that lives in a very clean it's a very it's a white uh white spirit only few will understand what i'm talking about only few that that do look into uh up deep eyes in spirituality will know what i'm talking about a white spirit that stays in a very clean place a very clean mind and a very clean spiritual realm what i mean by spiritual realm is your own personality beyond this physical world we see in your spiritual room your spiritual house if that room is dirty is not occupant enough the spirit cannot visit you we said it's a kind of spirit that that is very hygienic and likes something very clean so now when someone is dirty spiritually there's no way the spirit will come there's no way the spirit will come and visit there's no way it's not i'm not talking about keeping your room clean keeping staying in white something no 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 all these bullshit people do online see people wearing white do this do that and uh, ajay i you, you see people doing video ajay ajay what if you are spiritually dirty there's no way to come to you people you see this thing that this thing are coming to are already clean they are they have a a very occupant uh, place for it for the spirit of the money and that is why i say most especially if you check my videos that's based on how to make money how to do this to get a financial before you will see i firstly mention firstly make sure you are spiritually clean firstly make sure you are spiritually balanced before you go for anything before you invite the spirit of money before you invite that spirit to come and stay to come and you want to be prosperous now someone that doesn't have problems spiritually whatever they lay their hand on will be prosperous it is not someone when someone is spiritually balanced when someone is spiritually balanced it's not about holding money but surely if there's no problem spiritually that money of a thing will come that business that that person is doing will surely be prosperous and from that business it will rise and become rich but you cannot just uh, you want to let me say this you want to empower someone that you want to uh, save someone and uh, someone is wallowing in abject poverty and now comes to you that okay he or she wants to him or her to help you and you know for sure of this thing we are talking about maybe you have watched this video and now instead of instead to of or instead of you to help that person spiritually you now maybe you give that person money maybe say go and venture into any business of your wish at the end of the day the person will collect the money go and invest it in whatever they like and at the end of the day they will still come back to you to ask for more because they are not spiritually balanced you just gave them this paper some may just come to me now and i say okay i need help and i give this to them okay take this one and go now when you give it to them they will go but 
you are just giving them this hard paper, this hard printed uh, currency, printed paper. If you want to help someone, don't let it be about money alone. Help them spiritually. If you have any way, you know, one thing about African is we don't, we are not ready to show ourselves ways. We, uh, you know, you, you will see brothers, uh, your brothers suffering, and you see the, you know, you, no one will tell you where they are making it. Most especially in Africa. It's only in Africa you see a a, a prosperous businessman when you go to them to say okay show me where tell me how you 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 are making it what they will tell you is is god oh is god god has done everything god cannot come down to do that thing he has created many ways you can help yourself and it is one of the reasons we created this channel sharing uh, knowledge about spirituality something you can do something you can do 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 blah 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 and all that and uh, people that that do come to me can testify that if I want to do something pertaining to maybe your business is not moving well, you want your business to be prosperous, you want money to be coming from your what you do, I will say I all know I normally have something like let's put a, some kind of bondage mufa or let's do something that will make you spiritually clean so that what you use it will be perfect. Not about if you see someone deceiving you, eh, when you do one ritual of the thing, before a money ritual can work, it will pass through some stages. You are inviting the spirit, but the spirits verify um um you know the spirit verify your your, your spiritual self, verify your spiritual room and discover that you are not you are not uh, worthy of you know receiving her as a visitor you are not worthy you know when you are expecting the the president of the uh, of the nation in your con in your home you need to make sure you know it is like when the country want to host a football uh, tournament they will make sure everywhere is clean everywhere is made ready so that it will not be a disgrace to to people that that will come or to their entire reputation so if you if you are thinking of uh saving this video is not about advertising i'm not trying to advertising or advising anyone to do anything but i'm just trying to explain to because i you know i'm kind of person that pity people you know it is not about me you can go anywhere i'm not saying you should not go anywhere to go and do anything you want to do but i'm i i'm keep wondering how much people are spending on how to make money they want to be rich they want to be do this do that and the end of the day come with the same story just wondering why thing will be that and uh, there won't be uh enormous i'm not talking i'm not saying you should come to me to to do any uh, how you spiritually clean i'm not advertising here in fact after this video i'm not urging anyone to to message me but at least this will really help you case of next time when you see your friend looking for someone is ah that person has money uh, it is from something is what even if you venture into if people are making it to one business to a particular business they are making it big money is coming from there when someone that is not spiritually balanced venture into the same business will come with the same story all because they are not meant to be there the same business that you have been doing for years, someone will just come today and start it, then be making it. How about that? And you will be here saying, uh, uh, they do. Well, I'm not talking about that. There's difference between this, what I'm saying, and destiny. If you are destined to be, you know, to be what you will be. But let me tell you, even if you are destined to be great, you just sit you and you just sit down that uh, uh, they said this is my business and this is from this business they say I will be the house buy a car do this you are deceiving yourself without action being taken nothing will happen well, whatever you look for in this life if you have a uh, many spiritual work that is based on how to make money if you have 
four spiritual work based on money. Make sure you have like two or three work that is being so now you will be spiritually clean all the time. Because each and every day, woman gets into trap. It's not about someone doing you. It's not about you offending someone, you someone bewitching you or that. It's not what I'm talking about here. It is all about how life were created. Check about my lectures and videos, my recent uh, past videos where I explain very well what spirituality really means. What really surprised me and you know baffles me a lot is I normally when you check the videos about the video like this will not be doing well because people only the few have the deeper eyes, not these eyes we open to see. Not these physical eyes. So video you see online of someone holding coconut holding something to promise you or you make money, you do this, do that. Only few it will work for the the reason is we came from different background, different family, different uh a lineage, different spirituality, and all that. Thing, things work differently. I'm not saying I'm not among people that have shared videos like, like that. But what I'm saying here is when we do a video to a channel like this or YouTube or, or, or any social media like this for general purpose, it is for we don't know someone that it will benefit. Someone will not even do anything. They are, you know, they are lucky enough. They fall into, uh, into, into maybe a family or a background that does not have, that have little or no, or let me say just little spiritual problem because there's no way you'll be in life without having the issue. And let me give you a best description of what I'm talking about. Human spirituality, human spiritual personality is like a clue. This is like as we are now. This clothes, you are wearing this clothes in your spirituality, in your spiritual realm. If you wear this coat, clothes for two or three days, how it will be? It will be dirty. So clothes that you are wearing in your spiritual uh, realm cannot be cleaned by, 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 by washing machine. But by spiritual soap, by something that will save you. I don't know any means that you know will make you clean. I'm not advertising anything here. It is by once you use, it is by how you 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 go, the, the extent you go. Now back to my discussion. When you are spiritually dirty, it is like when you wear a cloth for like four days. Well, I would you it will be surely dirty. Even if you if you if you have something that you are using and it is working, make sure you do it again. I'm talking about how to be spiritually clean. That thing, make sure you repeat it. Even it finished, repeat it. Even if you have four spiritual work working for money, have like two or three spiritual work working for how to be spiritually clean as well. Let it be equal. So that your life can be balanced. So now, when you are spiritually dirty, it is like wearing the clothes to a place for like days. Even if you did not offend anyone, if you did not have any problem at all, the thing is, the more you go out, the more the the more you only if you are not um if you are not if you are not exposed enough. The more you want people to know you, the more problems will come. We that is doing this doing this work, spiritual, spiritual things of a thing, experience most of the problem all the time. And that is why I do love some people when you say, eh, this work we want to do, bring this particular money, they will say, eh, Sebi, you are the one that doing it. Can't you just go into your office and pick something and do it for us? It's not like that. Some work, if you are doing it for people, you need to be as you are doing it for some people, you need to be using something to clean yourself. Because the, someone you are saving, you will be attacked. People that bind them, that bind them down, that you know that, that that put them in the bandage, 
won't want them to be out anytime. So you are trying to save them, so they will come back to you to say, hey, hey let's see how you will escape. So and you see this thing as a simple thing, and you see be blaming us. You know, you will not, you will not see them commenting uh, spiritual person. Well, I'm not trying to urge anyone to to do anything here. Spirituality is not about popularity. It's not about how, how you were known. But back to what I was saying, there's no way some man will not be entrapped in some bandage anytime. The more you are known, the more you go out, the more you eat. From food we eat, we get some bandage, we get uh, bondages, we get into, from water we drink. For How would you, only if you stay in your woman, in your mom's room, in as much as you, from the day when you step into life, that is when the spiritual problem begins. The more you become known, the more the prosperity is coming, the more you, the, the more as the spirit of money comes to you, the more also, the more the uh, bad spirit will be noticing you as well. Ah, okay, this, this someone is prospering. They will now sit somewhere. For you, if you see someone prosperous for days, having money has been rich, you just see them coming back to, to the grass food later. You will have heard their story that they are once a, they have once a rich man. They are once a rich man. People know them very well, and all of a sudden they come back to normal, uh, to their, to their low, to the grassroots. The reason is, uh, as they are making it that time, the spirit is with it, uh, the spirit of prosperity is still with them. So the other spirit that want to destroy their life is waiting for them anytime. Now, one people that is asked to advise is someone that is making it, someone that is, is being prosperous. If you tell them, if you share this kind of video to them, they will just be like, yeah, uh, why you know, they will say, uh, people like us will never get into problem because it's black, it, you know, it's, it covers their eyes to see. They will not want it. Now, that thing will wait. You will see one boy prosperous buying motor, buying cars. All this, I do love some all these uh, so called uh, Yahoo boys of the team. You will see them making it, and all of a sudden they will just come back to, to the low level. And it is because why they are making instead of them to be looking for not to be dropped down again, how to be rising, they will believe that uh, the thing will be going that way. They don't know that some things are some people, some spirits, some things are not happy with what is happening to them. They are waiting for. For a single mistake to happen like this, then the body will fall in, then the thing will down. And someone facing, uh, one thing is, one thing about, let me give you another explanation. Explanation. Someone in a spiritual bondage attracts many problems a lot. Yes. And that is when you, you might imagine, why me? That is when everything will now become, because they see there's no guide on them. Every spirit that has been waiting there to enter your room, let me use that example. You have a house already. And the house, only you and prosperity are living there. Only you and your family are living there, for example. Now, other people want to, that all those people that doesn't have a house, a room to stay. So, we want to enter. They will be waiting for you to, to chase away the good people in your room. That's exactly what it means. So, when you are being prosperous, you are, you are in good spirit and in your room in your spiritual personality they are waiting for you to chase them away or something happens that you know the spirit of uh, the reason why we said when you are giving something a spiritual one you are told not to sleep with a woman you think it's a joke you think it's a it's not about the spiritual work or something but the spirit that attracts the uh, spirit the spirit of wet it's anything like um, deathness, anything unhygienic. And when you do that, the thing will go away because it ate it. And that is when problem will now be falling in. So, this short video, I'm going to do part two of this lecture. But for you that is watching, I hope you learned something today. I have to quickly make this one. If you if you learn something, make sure you share it because it's a very great thing. It's not it's not every time you will be seen uh, us sharing how to make money, how to do this, do that. Watch something like this to be spiritually balanced.
I'm not saying I'm not going to drop anything pertaining to this lecture. Maybe a work. We will still drop that when I have the time. But I'm advising you generally, in case you see your friend in future trying to, you know, that is still ignorant to this. People, you give millions, you give thousands to do work for you, will never tell you this. And at the end of the day, because only few knows much about spirituality. It's not about popularity, it's not about fame, or about it. It's not about that. It's all about how deep you are in spirituality. Don't be deceived. Think very well and listen what all these things I told you. So if you are given a work, uh, maybe so you are told to stay clean, stay, and you imagine that maybe uh, when you, it is not that the woman that you sleep with is is the problem, you know. But one thing is unhygienic thing, unholy thing, very something displacing and against the spirit of prosperity and wetness. It likes to stay where. Very clean. I'm not talking about keeping your room clean. Painting, you will see some some uh, ignorant uh, fellows painting their whole house. Uh, painting their whole house white, wearing white, doing jargons on everything. That does not translate to being spiritually clean. You can paint your, you can be sleeping on cotton wool. Doesn't translate to being uh, spiritually okay. But it depends on how you manage your yourself. How you you will know, you will know. And one someone facing spiritual problem are the one that the problem will be coming to. You will not when you are suffering this. Another one will be hinting because they see you open. Your door has been open. That is when many spiritual problem be coming. Many physical problem, and many spiritual problem. For example, you will not see. A rich man facing most of the problem. You do not like women are created with problems. Don't quote me wrong. But at least there's difference. So don't deceive yourself. Make sure of this video and share it. Share it for others that are still out there thinking of something else. Make people learn. Don't be stingy. One thing about African is uh we keep things to ourselves, we we don't how do I how do I put this? Uh, we don't, maybe the spirits or the cause, the generation cause with us. Someone making it, and it has been, I've been challenged uh, most of the time about this particular channel also. You know, if someone sharing something beneficial will be attacked because they know once every eye, one eye. That is when you will see popular pastors with uh, very numbers of disciples, the ignorant ones. They'll be shouting for money tonight, tonight, shouting, and the problem still persists because the truth is always unpopular. And something like this, we based on religious fanatics, um, um, religion favoritism, and uh, it hatred for for basic truth. You will not share it because you will think. Uh, this thing is not in my people, it's not in favor of my religion. This not, I'm not talking about religion here. Not only about religion. I'm a traditionalist. I'm not talking about religion here. But what I'm saying in essence is you share this to help others. Share this to help others. Don't be stingy. Don't let that... Uh, uh, that cause be on you to help your brothers, help your sister out there having the same problem. Thank you for watching, and I pray O Lord Mary bless you. Whoever watching and share this, be blessed this uh, week, and you get unexpected uh, grace by the power of O Lord Mary. Uh, thank you for watching again, and don't forget to. Subscribe and watch as well. Thank you so much.